Paris, home to the world's most visited tourist attraction, known around the world for its beautiful views, exquisite arts, and precision architecture. But not everyone agrees. Ridiculous building. Knock it down. Basically a giant pylon. If you go to France and you haven't been in a car crash, then you haven't really had the full French experience, in my opinion. Morning, it's uh, quarter to nine, and I'm on my way to Paris. Made it to Paris, we're here. I conveniently this morning, just woken up, looking like a spotty 16 year old, uh, which is not what the ladies look for, as far as I'm aware. If you are a lady that looks for that, I'm a bit concerned. Why are you looking for 16 year olds? Each to their own. I've got a theory that Paris is really overrated. So I've flown all the way over here to basically try and find out. Is it really overrated? Am I right? Probably. Probably to be. I don't need to spend the money going over here. I probably am. But I might also be wrong. Maybe it is nice. Maybe it's a nice place. Too many cars. Too noisy. But oh, look, there's a fountain. I mean, that's basically what Paris is. That's actually quite good, to be fair. A little statue in the middle of the road. <laughs> Already crimes being committed. I can't work out how many lanes there are on the roads. I don't think they know. Just drive anywhere. It's chaos. I haven't got a clue where I am, I've got to be honest. I haven't got a clue. There's this here, whatever this is. One of the one of the big monuments probably. Look at that. What a view. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Probably gonna get hit. I think I'm about to get hit. Nearly got hit by a bus. You see, I nearly got Diana. She didn't get hit by a bus, obviously. It's less sexy, isn't it? I'd rather die in a tunnel. It was on green and the bus driver tried to run me over. The Eiffel Tower there, the most overrated landmark in the entire world. We will visit there tomorrow, hopefully, if I don't get hit by a bus. Not a bad view, I guess. The French can't stop beeping. They're mental. It's like one big game of dodgems for them. Now, it's a lovely day here in Paris. Aside from the people, it's lovely. These people are insane. I'm going to get to the end of this trip and I'm going to be like a far-right environmentalist. I'm going to be an environmentalist fascist. I'm going to want cars banned, people destroyed. I'm already getting to that stage, to be fair. Look at all the tourists. Look at them. Can't stand them. Do you reckon I can get a wave? Hi. Hi. Hello. No. Grumpy tourists. If this is a Sunday, the day I rest. Jesus, I don't want to see what it's like on a Friday night. Paris is a beautiful place, don't get me wrong. Beautiful but too many people you know it's the sort of place that makes you want to have another pandemic you know what i mean it's like did it not do enough that first one look at that that's nice boats on the size yeah it's all right if it wasn't loud enough already someone started banging some drums now it's getting worse you have a headache can it bring any paracetamol shut up cars bikes boats now drums hi do i get a wave Hey! Hey! He got it! He got it! One person wave. That's one out of about 500. Grumpy, grumpy tourists. I'm seeing a lot of cars here in Paris that are heavily damaged. They've been used to, to bash into pedestrians, perhaps. Kill them in front of their family, these sorts of things. The French love it. If you go to France and you haven't been in a car crash, then you haven't really had the full French experience, in my opinion. I'd be disappointed if I didn't get into a car crash while I'm here. If I don't even get hit a little bit, I a scrape or something. The French have realised that following laws, following common sense, and following anything with any sanity to it is absolute nonsense. They are already living in their own version of the apocalypse. And uh, I, I really rate it, do you know what I mean? It's supposed, supposed to be like the centre of art and culture. I mean, that is a man on roller skates. I respect that as well. Someone's getting married. It's all happening here. His camera's bigger than mine. A lot bigger. Bigger isn't always better though. That's what I keep telling myself. It's another, another big building that I don't know what it is. Oh, it's the Louvre. It's the Louvre. Fantastic. I'm going there tomorrow. But this is an unnecessarily large building. I mean, realistically, what's going on here? How much is that costing to heat? Is it offices? Is it admin? Is it admin for the Mona Lisa? Do you know what I mean? Is it the Mona Lisa's PR team? Ridiculous building. Knock it down. 
Knock it down if it's not being used, knock it down. You gotta be ruthless in this game. The green light, green light. The green light, but the cyclists ignore them. The cars ignore them. It's, it's the green man. It's, the, it's a green man in the cars. No, he doesn't care. Does not care. Down by the river. I think it's a river. I don't know. Could be anything. Could be the sea. Could be the ocean. What's the difference? I'll never know. You know, you got hit by a bike, you still can't escape sudden death, even on a bridge. So far, I've been nearly hit by a bus, nearly hit by a bike. Next up, I'm aiming for a car, and I'll be completing the triad. People always say, you know, travel, it broadens the mind. What they fail to say is how much of a pain in the ass it is. Walking around, sweating, cars everywhere, people everywhere. The sun is setting in Paris. The people never sleep, unfortunately. And I'm down by the river trying to find some peace of quiet. It's difficult, but as you can see here, people like to gather on the side of the river on an evening. Sun coming down, decent little setting. I've arrived at my room. This is my bed for the night down here. Beautiful. I'll be joined by a few other people. Looks like somebody else is here. Staying in a hostel, doing it in style. Look at this, it's not all right. There, or a bathroom. Decent. Okay, it's the next day. I'm alive, just about. What a night. Met a Canadian guy, went for some drinks. I only had two pints at this pub. And yet, somehow ended up being a little bit tipsy. Not drunk, I don't get drunk. But after just two pints, I assume it was the lack of food. Perhaps it was just the dehydration, who knows? Look at that for a view. What a view. So yeah, woke up this morning and a bit too much information, bit of a warning for you here, but the old urine did smell of Strongbow. It smelled a bit French as well, to be honest, it did. I've got, I've got to be honest with you. I had three pastries for breakfast, which, um, you know, I mean, when in Rome and all that, I mean, you've got to do it, you've got to be done. But now, before I go to the Louvre, I think I'm heading towards Notre Dame. I could be wrong, probably not heading that way. I should probably check. Turns out I wasn't heading in the right direction for Notre Dame. I was actually heading in the exact opposite direction. Look, I've got to be honest, I was going to come here and sort of slag Paris off, to be honest. I was, but it's actually quite nice. It is quite nice. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely some things I'd change. I'd have a call, I'd get rid of cars, I'd ban the bikes, and I'd, you know, cut down on the scooters. But aside from that, it is quite nice if you got rid of most of the people. You know, tourists like me, for example, if you got rid of us, it wouldn't be so bad. Notre Dame, the place that's uh, got burned down. Now it's got a massive crane. Look at that. That's what you travel to Paris for, is that. Back in 2019, Notre Dame went up in flames when construction work went wrong and a fire brought down the, uh, the top of the spire, I think. I'm making this up as if I actually know. I'm pretty sure this happened. I think it looks better than the original. Keep it, keep the scaffolding even when it's fixed. You know, maybe it's the greatest thing that ever happened to Notre Dame, because now they get to rebuild it, modernize it. Beautiful scaffolding. That's really Notre Dame at its finest there. Scaffolding, banging, cranes. Some of the original parts do remain. Still got beautiful parts to it. You know, it's not all burnt. It's not all burnt to a crisp. Yeah, it's a perfect angle of Notre Dame where you can see the crane in all its glory. Look at it, beautiful. The scaffolding just out of shot there, which is unfortunate because it's my favorite part personally. But that's just me. So then the crane really sort of ruins it, doesn't it? Just got that sticking out. Can we get rid of the crane? Look at this, I don't even know what this is. There's a museum for everything. I mean, absolutely everything here. I was told yesterday by a local, someone that's in the know, that there's a museum for old fairground attractions here, which I won't be visiting, I don't think. Don't have enough time to sort of do that, but it's good to know. I think this is called the Saint Chapelle, I think. I'm pretending to know. There, with the gold at the top. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I think you can go look around, they've just not really got any interest in doing that. Harris seems to have found a way to make multi-storey buildings look cool, look artsy, look nice, make you want to live in them, make them desirable. It's quite impressive what they've done with the architecture. Some of the roofs as well, why have a flat roof when you can 
spend extra time making something with a balcony, making something that's sort of rounded. They've really put the effort in and I credit, credit them for that. When it comes to the sort of inner city kind of vibe, they've, they've ballsed up and they should think about it again. Maybe pedestrianise the whole place actually is, is something I'm now advocating and I'd never advocate that usually, but in this case I am. I believe this is called Pont Neuf or Point Nine. I'm guessing that's what that means, Point Nine. I thought I've made that bit up. I think Neuf means nine though, doesn't it? I think that's what that statue is there, I think. I think that's what it is. Basically just a man on a horse, isn't it? But sort of big it up, give it a fancy name. Look at that for a view. Voila. Look at that. There are lots of fancy shops here that I don't belong in, that I won't be going in. Me and Louis Vuitton, that's the closest I'll get to that. Do you want to spend 800 quid on a t-shirt? No, not really. Not really, I'd just spend eight quid instead on this bad boy, River Island. Nice, uh, nice shade of grey. Fashion, baby. I don't know who in the right mind's gone, do you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna call our shop, our clothes shop, our high-end store, Carol, with two L's. Um, nothing wrong with it as a name, I'm just saying I don't see it as a, as a shop name. Maybe, maybe that's just me, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, let me know. It's a massive building is the Louvre, not just that triangle in the centre, it's got the, the whole sort of ring of buildings around it. A bit unnecessary in my opinion, but, you know, it is what it is I guess. There's a, there's a spire, I didn't even know that existed. I've walked past it, there's so much to see here, you do just walk past and go, yeah, it's another spire, do you know what I mean? Like, pff, didn't even look at it, barely. I'll watch it back in the footage, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those kind of places. The great thing about Paris is you can get run over at any time. So it keeps you on your toes and it makes you value your life a little bit more because it could be ended in a second. Some woman down there trying to convince me to give her some money comes up to me with a sort of clipboard and pen type scenario. The old, uh, the old tourist trap. Uh, pointing to the old UNICEF badge. Oh, give me, give me money. No, 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 no. Unless you're David Beckham, right, and I can verify you actually work for UNICEF, I'm not giving you money. Unfortunately, I mean, maybe. Maybe she is genuine, but, I mean, she used a black and white printer. It didn't even bother with colour, so, again, if you are going to try and trap tourists into giving them money, uh, at least get a colour printer, do you know what I mean? Because I've seen right through that. Oh, give me money, I'm trying to save sick people. Maybe she is, maybe she is trying to save sick people. But I can't verify that. So you're not having any euros. I mean, this is really beautiful, look at this. Seeing the Louvre for the first time. Crystal pyramid-like structures. I mean, they have ripped it off a little bit, haven't they? They ripped off the pyramids a bit there. I'm sure the, the lads and ladies in Giza won't be very happy, but there you go. Look at this, a little bit of commercialization, all for that. Massive advert, and then the Arc de Triomphe, which is, Actually, where I'm going to go now, because I'm not due in the Louvre for another 45 minutes. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Fair play to the French on this one. I mean, I can't really complain. Not yet, anyway. We'll see when I get inside. It might be a waste of time. I mean, what I'd say to the French is keep up the building, because you are building great buildings. So keep building them, would be my advice. Seems like you've not built any decent ones for about 500 years, but aside from that, you're doing a great job. The Arc de Triomphe in all its glory. Not sure why they felt the need to put sand there. Uh, I mean, it's not a beach. <sighs> Look at that bad boy. Look at that. That's all right, isn't it? Whew. For me, the Arc de Triomphe might actually be a little bit better than the Eiffel Tower. I'm not a huge Eiffel Tower fan, I've got to be honest. The Arc de Triomphe, on the other hand, well, look at this. Make an arch, stick some horses, some gold stuff on top, and voila. Fair play, France. Yeah, you know I mean, you've done pretty well here, I've got to be honest. Eiffel Tower there in the distance and a naked woman there with their boobs out here. Mainly focused on the Eiffel Tower though. Right, I'm going to head towards the Louvre. Let's see what they allow me to film. Let's see what they allow me to take in. And uh, hopefully I'm going to keep everything. Hopefully nothing gets confiscated. They can't do that, can they? The French, they can do what they want, I suppose. They do do what they want. Paintings, a lot of people. It's massive this place. I think it's 32,000 paintings. 
ridiculous. Just pick the best, you know, five or ten, pop them in a room and I'll come have a look. Most of these pictures are all naked. I thought they had clothes back then. The, doesn't look like it, they're obsessed. People say nowadays that you know nudity is a big thing, but I think back in the day it was uh, a bigger thing to be honest. But actually, well, some of them are a bit smaller. But has that changed as well? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know about that. Hassle, really, a lot of fuss. I don't think it's the best painting in the room, never mind the world. I mean, you know that one? Why is everyone looking at the Mona Lisa? This lot, this old thing here. When is that bad boy? Look at that! Mad, really, isn't it? But you know, when in Rome, you've got to do it, haven't you? Apparently. Most of these pictures, paintings, whatever you want to call them, most of them. Like basically just Jesus getting killed in various different ways. Bow through the heart. A lot of the time it's him on a cross. Him being killed, impaled, etc. And shout out to him. Because he has made up most of this museum. Then I came across this weird sort of statue of what looks like men. Just sort of checking out the packages. Being like, oh that's smaller than I remember it being or something. I don't really know. I don't know what they're doing. Just sort of like checking out the Todger, I'm not sure. Oh, Louis Capaldi here at the Louvre. There he is, good to see him there. Finally made a statue out of him. About time, really. Then I found some weird like mask things, which I thought looked a bit odd. I mean, it looks like something I made in year eight art. Like, who's in charge of the quality control here at the Louvre? What's that? Right, finished with the Louvre now. Uh, it's all right, look. I've spent about an hour and a half in there. It's okay. If you're going in there solely for the Mona Lisa, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Because to be honest, outside is better than inside, in my opinion. Don't bother paying for a ticket, just have a look at this. Spend your time here instead. There's lovely things to see, you know? Anyway, now I'm off to the Eiffel Tower. Shades are on now, because it is hat. Hat, hat, hat. Here in Paris, they have these tour boats that take you up the river Sienne. Sienna, I don't know, up the river, the Eiffel Tower over there, basically a giant pylon, but everyone raves about it. Sands out really, isn't it? It's an eyesore, is that? For those of you that don't know, the Eiffel Tower was originally supposed to be in Barcelona, as they say. No one says that. The people of Barcelona objected. They said, no, we don't want it here, and ended up being plonked in the middle of Paris. And to be fair, it's ended up being a decent decision. It's the most visited tourist attraction in the world. So they've done all right from it. Do you know what I mean, it's not the greatest building in the world. I mean, to be honest, there's some, some lovely buildings here, but that is not one of them. You could knock that down tomorrow and no one would miss it. Nobody. Whereas that, put a bit of bling in the sky. I'm all for that. Look at that, just some random gold. Completely unnecessary. But they've done it. Do you know what? Fair play to them. I think I'm going to the top of that. I don't know. I tried to get tickets and I couldn't. Maybe I've come all this way and I still won't get to the top. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? I've come all the way to the Eiffel Tower just to find that the top is closed. Um, yeah, no one can go to the top. And underneath it, it's up there. And I've come all the way here, walked for a very long time, a few miles. And uh, it's not actually open at the top bit. You could probably get to the second floor, but I can see that from here. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's the point? Is there any point coming all the way and then going to the second floor? At least I haven't paid for anything. I mean, it's free to just stand underneath it, which is quite good. It's not really the same though, is it? Ugh. Get me a slushy. So I just got back to my room after the disappointment of not getting to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And now I'm just sat here in Paris, need to make Rex sausage roll. It might be out of date. Hmm. 
嗯，再说